Hi everyone, this is the new 10 channel radio that uh, we have been trying, trying to develop for quite some time and uh, we literally have taken this similar mold of the RCV 6i, the earlier 6 channel radio and uh, the radio right now is still in its development stage, things are not yet finalized but you can see that there are a few changes that we have already done compared to our earlier radio. One of course is the screen has become much more larger, we got a roller, uh, uh, roller and a pinch uh, uh, scroller button here, you've got two large buttons here, we have got two knobs here. So this could be an 8 channel or this could be a, a 10 channel right now. Things are still getting uh, on the verge of finalization. Uh, the good thing about this entire radio is it's an open source uh, radio. It's got telemetry, it's got uh, voice control, it's got a SD card. Uh, pricing of course is still getting finalized but definitely the pricing will be great and uh, we have uh, just if I can show this across to you we have got a kind of a USB connector here uh, for all updation for the charger plugs in here and other features are literally as same as the uh, as the RCV 6R or the looks and feel is the same on the RCV 6R so let me try to switch on and see I'll show to you what exactly is here. Yep, here this is what the basic menu is. I'll just scroll through the menus very quickly. Of course, again I need to inform you as this is still in its nascent stage, nothing is finalized, lots of changes are going to happen. But I thought I'll just give you a kind of a preview of what's happening across from our side from past six to seven months. So press and hold enter. You've got the parameter settings, model settings, transmitter settings, timer, receiver settings, monitor, and about the transmitter, which version is it right now? Let me just scroll through the first one parameter setting. You've got channel reverse, endpoints, subtrends, gyro settings for the heli, stick curve. And if I'm right, there's a nine point stick curve. Let me just move in there and see. Here you can see. Yep. And let me show it to you. Yeah, it's a nine point curve. Very smooth curve. Let me just go back. Throttle curve, pitch curve, throttle hold, virtual stick. This is one. It's a kind of a, a, a stick that you assign to any of the switches. Switches basically over here. Auxiliary channel. If you want, what you want to do with it, the swash. Servo delay, if you want to have any kind of a servo delay uh, on any one of your 10 channels, channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 channels. So these are the parameter settings. Let me just go back. Here are the model settings model number, model name, type symbols any of the symbols you want to use or you can upload your own symbols if required or you can copy your earlier model from uh, SD card and bind channel mapping right now I set to ATR you can change as for each and every channel whatever you want to till all the way to channel 10 Switch mapping, each and every switch you can assign a function for each switch. Trailer function, it's for the simulator right now. PPM to PCM, whatever is it, and uh, model reset. So this is the second menu. Let me just run through the quickly through the third menu. Transmitter setting, trim setup. 
stick mode, mode 1, mode 2, stick, vibration on off, sound on off, key volume, key tone, what kind of tone you want. Because backlit, what for a contrast? I'm looking at timer settings. We got three types of timers: mode switch and uh, throttle position at the throttle position whatever the throttle position you want the timer will just get activated and it will literally not reset but it will stop when your throttle position comes out again when you push it back again on throttle it will start again then you've got the alarm timer alarm time of course reset receiver settings for the telemetry monitor to show each and every of course to check out your channels all the 10 channels are here okay and about what version it is and of course as it says uh, the, this is actually compatible with the rcb 6i or the RZ6 receiver too, so you can have an 8 channel receiver or a 6 channel or a 10 channel receiver working together in one. Now, we require some help across uh, from you guys to give us some suggestions. We will post a proper video of each and every menu. If you can let us know if you need any changes to be done or any suggestions, we'd love to give it and of course, uh, we'd like to get it at the earliest. And uh, that's it guys. Uh, this is what the new radio could look like, look like, but we will keep in touch. Thank you.